Hi everyone, it's Simone Watson, and um, people are either going to love this or hate it, and I know that, but you know, since I've made these videos about writing and mental illness, um, I found out quite recently, I think, that, um, well, basically, some of the thoughts that I had about hypomania and mania, which are like phases of bipolar disorder, um, some of the things I thought about those are not exactly true. So, I just want to talk a little bit about what hypomania feels like, but this is my experience. It's just me, just me talking about my experience, and there's going to be more about it than I can just say in like this short video, so I just want to kind of give you an example, okay? So, let's say you wake up one day, and you need to clean the garage, okay? You might have already had plans to do something else that day. Maybe you and a friend were going to go out to lunch, or you were going to go, like, buy some groceries because you don't have groceries, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and it's not like you, you know, had a previous plan to clean the garage on this particular day. There's not really any outside reason why you need to clean the garage that day. Like, oh, it's more dirty than usual. No, like, but you woke up, and you knew so strongly. Like, you just feel, like, so strongly. Like, you have to clean the garage today. It has to be done right now, okay? So you start cleaning the garage, and you're not really looking at the clock, and then the friend you were supposed to meet for lunch comes over and is like, hey, are we going to eat lunch? And you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I got tied up in this, I have to clean the garage. And your friend is like, well, can't you stop to eat? And you're like, no, this is really important. And your friend is like, yeah, but you need to eat. And you're like, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. This garage has to be clean right now. You think that I'm going to come with you and eat some food in a restaurant and let like dust and grime and nastiness keep building up in my garage? Like, what are you talking about? No. Okay, this needs to be done right now. Like, wh wh why are you even bothering me? You know, so, um, so then the friend is just like, uh, okay. And then you're a little bit more mad because the friend is just looking at you like, uh, okay. And you're just like whatever so finally you clean the garage right the garage is clean and then you're like what should i do next and you're like you know what i should do i should call my friend no 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 i should go to the movies no 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 no. i should do this other thing no 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 you know what no you know what i should do something else um meanwhile you don't realize that it's actually like one in the morning so what most people would do is sleep but it doesn't really feel like one in the morning to you because even though you've been cleaning since like 10 in the morning, I mean, you're not sleepy, like you're not tired. So it doesn't feel late at night to you, you know? Um, so you're just like, I need something else to do. But there are so many ideas in your head. Like there's so many things that you could do. Oh, I could paint. I could maybe not paint, but like, well, I don't paint. You might paint, you know, you know I, I could paint. I could read a book. I could read 10 books. You know, I could do this other thing. I could do this thing over here, you know? And there's so many things that you could do and they're just all like eh. and then someone's like why don't you go to sleep and you're like mm -hmm. <laughs> sleep what 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 is that sleep is for the week you know but then you're like okay i'll try and go to sleep and then here's the thing you do when you go to try to go to sleep you turn the light off in your bedroom the problem is the light doesn't turn off in your head some of y'all will know what i'm talking about here right like all of the all of the that see what i'm saying see what i'm doing it's like this all of that that was going on in your head the, I should do this, and I should do this, 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 this it's still happening and you can't turn it off so you can't really go to sleep um lastly you find out something really exciting so say you find out that like cows can fly Cows can't fly, but I'm just giving you an example, right? You find out that cows can fly and you're really excited about that. And so you go to like a loved one or a friend and you're like, oh my gosh, cows can fly. This is like so cool. And they're like, yeah, sure. And you're like, like, do you even understand what I'm saying right now? I'm saying cows can fly. Like this, this, we've gone thousands of years without knowing, like, do you understand how exciting this is? And they're like, did you go to sleep? And you're like, freaking what what how can you ask me right now if i went to sleep how can you even be like i like i don't understand like you don't want me to be excited is that the thing like you don't want me to be excited i think
think that's the problem. I think you won't let me be excited about something. Like, you have to just assume that every time I'm excited, it must be the disease process. So now, you know what? I'm kind of mad. I'm kind of angry. I'm just, I don't even want to talk to you. Okay, goodbye. So, uh, yeah, that is my brief description of what uh, hypomania feels like. And, um, yeah, uh, if it's, if you have it too, let me know that I feel for you. Um, yeah, so I'll just talk to you all later. Bye. Oh, by the way, it is true that it's not like every time a person with bipolar disorder is excited, they are hypomanic. Like, you can be excited, and that doesn't necessarily mean you're hypomanic. But, like, sometimes, like, people are just like, oh, you blah, 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 you know, and, like, you're just upset because you're like, I'm excited about something, and you're just alluding to my disorder, and I really don't want to talk about that right now, you know? So, okay. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you on Friday. And I really hope I didn't offend anybody because, like I said, this is just my experience. Okay, bye.